reading vlog I don't really know I had this idea for this like end of the month reset type of thing so I'm going to be doing a lot of cleaning today as you already saw I did a lot this morning and I am about to do my usual Sunday reading sprints pretty soon and like eight minutes so I'm getting that set up but while I'm doing that I wanted to talk to you about my reading plans for the day so I do have three books left on my TBR. The Drift, Indigo Ridge, and Dead Mountain. Love that. But it's the third to last day of the month. And Indigo Ridge, I have a live show for on the 31st for the Sugar and Spice Book Club because that is the Sugar and Spice Book Club pick for this month. And then The Drift comes out on Tuesday. So I need to get that read before Tuesday. And then Dead Mountain, I I am going to be using that for the Buzzwordathon for this month. I originally was going to be reading The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue for that because the buzzwords are life and death. So The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, but I DNF that book and I didn't really have have a backup plan because I was not planning on DNFing that book. I don't think anyone ever plans on DNFing a book, but either way, I DNFed it and I rewatched Kayla's video and she said she would take Dead. So I'm just going to kill two birds with one stone because Dead Mountain was already on my TBR and it does count for the Buzzwordathon. I mean, obviously, I would love to just stick to the rules and actually choose a book that has life or death, but then I would have to add another book to my TBR. So why would I make it harder for myself when I don't have to? Sorry, I'm looking away. I'm setting up the timer and the stream yard and all that. But that is the plan for the rest of the day. I am going to be trying to get through those three books. I haven't started any of them. So got lots of reading plans. I would like to dust and sweep this room, my book room 
today and then also i have this cute little coffee sign that i would like to hang up and i want to put that somewhere back there not really sure so you can see it whenever i'm live either sitting here at my desk or sitting back there in my chair but that's pretty much the plan for today i am about to go live so let me do that and i will update you once i'm a little ways into my first book reading update for this vlog. I have now made it. Sorry if you can hear my coffee brewing in the background, but I have now made it to 63% in Indigo Ridge by Debney Perry and holy crap. I'm loving it, okay? So basically, in this book, we are following our two main characters, Griffin and Winnie, and at the very beginning of the book, they meet each other at a bar, and they're both under the impression that neither of them live in this town, and they're both just tourists passing through. So they're like, all right, perfect situation for a one night stand. And then, yeah, they're not tourists. Neither of them are tourists. And she's the officer, the like, lead officer sheriff i don't know of this small town and he is part of the like founding family of this town the edens so needless to say they're gonna run into each other a lot because obviously they're just so cute it starts as like a no strings attached type of thing and they just have sex but like we it's a romance so like we all know that it's not ever just that it's never just sex but the way that it's going about it is so cute and i just i'm eating it up i'm eating it up i didn't think i would because at first i was like all right i've been told that this is fade to black like i'm not into that i hated the unhoneymooners for other reasons other than that but like also it was fade to black so there was nothing in it for me anyways but there's also like this murder mystery going on they find a dead body at the bottom of like a mountain cliff and it's obviously one of the girls that lives in the town and they've had seven bodies pop up in the same area within this last like 10 years and everyone else is like oh they're just suicides like they just jump off the cliff and like fall to their death and Winnie is like I don't really know that they're suicides so she's investigating specifically this newest girl Lily Green who is the girl they just found and she's like interviewing other people and griffin comes along with her to help her find out what happened and it's so cute it's so cute i i was gonna update you when i was 50 percent in and then i just couldn't stop reading so i'm only updating you now because i had to stop to make a coffee because priorities i cannot wait to continue reading and yeah my hair like why does this always happen it always happens. It's always like, hey, on both sides, usually. <laughs> I, look like, I don't know what that is, but it looks funny. I was trying to tuck it behind my ears, but it, it still likes to stick out. I'm going to finish making my coffee and then go downstairs and hopefully finish Indigo Ridge. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away 
yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up, I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden, I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows, no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today, I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away switch back to reading Indigo Ridge and I'm at 85% now and this was my reaction to what just happened. Why? Why is this happening? I don't know. Did that just kill the enjoyment of this book for me? Possibly. I'm 85% into it now and this could make or break my overall enjoyment of the book so we shall see where that goes but now i'm going to switch back to dead mountain i know i didn't like update you update you that i had switched to this i don't think but you would have seen me reading it in some b-roll i am more than 50 percent into this in the audiobook i have about an hour and five minutes left and i'm still on sprints and there's about 18 minutes left so i'm going to switch back over to the audiobook for dead mountain and get my load of laundry out and then i don't know what else after that but then the sprint will be over and i'll be almost done with dead mountain and indigo ridge and then in the next sprint i'll probably be finishing both books but i still need to get some headway into the drift today so i gotta i gotta do this i gotta crank these books out because i've got a deadline for the drift also i have a deadline for all three of these books so it wasn't like i was wrongly prioritizing one over another basically i have the same timeline for all three so I'd say I'm doing pretty well, considering. I mean, it's almost six o'clock now, so I've got time. But I also need to edit this vlog so I can have it up before the end of the month also. Deadlines, deadlines, deadlines. So I just finished. Um, I was about to say Juniper Hill. No, that's the next one. I just finished Indigo Ridge by Devney Perry. And I don't really know how to feel about it, honestly. I mean, there were things that happened that I was like, this is corny. And then there were things that happened that I was like, okay, all right. And then other things would happen and I would be like, I get it. It's the genre, okay? It's a murder mystery romance. I get it. Obviously, there's gonna be a murder mystery, but I just wish it wasn't focused on so much. Good thing I have a couple of days to get my thoughts together, okay? I was not even planning on telling you my final rating in this vlog because I'm the type of person that will wait until a live show that I'm in for a book to let people know my rating, and I stand by that. So I wasn't even originally planning on telling you 
you guys my final rating because this video will be coming out before our live show discussion. But like finishing it just now, I don't even know what I would rate it and I don't know my final thoughts. So I guess that's a good thing because I wasn't planning on telling you anyway. So I guess that's a plug to come join us for the live book discussion on the 31st, aka Tuesday at 8 p.m. EST on Lachlan's channel. I will link the live show down below and then obviously if you're watching this before that time then you can set your reminder or if you're watching this after Tuesday then you can watch the playback and see my final thoughts on this book. <laughs> I mean, obviously you can tell it's not a five star. It's not a one star either. So it's somewhere in the middle, but yeah. Anyway, so I guess now I have 30 minutes left of this sprint and I'm going to switch back over to Dead Mountain and I won't be able to finish it during this sprint, but I'll be able to finish it during the next one. And maybe that'll be the last sprint that I do today. I don't know. I'm not normally live for this long, but I just have a lot of things that I wanted to do today. And I was like, why not? So, but I'm usually live for about five to six hours. And right now we're looking at six hours and 45 minutes. So it's not too much over as of right now, but I guess it depends on how much longer I go. I don't know what my longest live is that I've ever done solo. I know my longest live I've ever done with someone else, but maybe that'll be today. I don't know, but yeah, that's the update. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, I'll see you when I finish Dead Mountain. I just finished Dead Mountain, as you saw, and the very last chapter of this book is basically the timeline of what happened, most likely, based on a bunch of research and evidence found, and it's just mind-blowing. Like, I do believe that that's what happened. It makes sense the most sense but just throughout the whole book you're kind of like discovering these different things and then you run into a problem with a theory and even Donny Eicher goes into detail about each one because there are a lot of popular conspiracy theories as to what happened this night to make them all die in this mysterious way because some of them are found without clothing on. One girl is found without her tongue and it's just strange the way that they were found and some of them were found before others and they were all separated. So it's just weird the spacing, the circumstances, the state of their bodies, and just all of that because this happened in 1959. Over the years people have been coming up with their own theories and Donnie Eicher lays them all out and basically disproves a lot of the theories based on his research and other people's research. Um, let me, I'm trying to find where he like lists them out. Yeah, okay, so in chapter 26, number one, and then number four, and weapons testing, and there's like a theory that the one girl who lost her tongue was the most outspoken of the group, so it was basically sending a message of you need to keep your mouth shut type of thing. The final conclusion of this book, the last chapter, does make logical sense and it's the closest we're ever gonna get to finding out what happened this night because we like there's no explanation the people who were in the thick of it there's no survivor i mean there is one survivor but he wasn't in the thick of what was happening that one night so we will never know what happened but the closest we'll get is that last theory and it's just wild to me and i'm probably going to be thinking about it the rest of the night but i'm not going to give this a rating because I kind of feel weird about rating it. I don't know. I do definitely recommend that you check this out because like I said, it's 
pretty interesting and freaking wild. There you have it. My second book of the day is done. My buzzword for this month is crossed off. My goals are being met. It's a fun time, but I have about 30 minutes left in this sprint. This is my second to last sprint, so I'll be getting off of my sprints pretty soon, but I am going to go ahead and start The Drift by CJ Tudor, so I will update you once I have some thoughts. <laughs> Thank you.